I mentioned that actually using Linux as a foundation requires a lot of software on top of it. And once you've loaded all of that different software on top of the Linux kernel, you've created what's typically called a Linux distribution. And there are a lot of different distributions. And I just want to skim through some of them quickly to give you an idea of the different types of Linux systems there are available. DistroWatch is a great website that pays attention to all of the things going on in the Linux world and the different distributions that are out there. And if you go to DistroWatch at any given point, you'll see all of the distributions that are out and what the latest ones are. Right here, we've actually got a utility release. This is called Gparted Live. And you would use this if you needed a boot CD that was capable of doing disk manipulation. So I could do some partitioning, for example, or I could resize partitions in order to do a dual boot. So I had, for example, Windows and Linux dual booting. I might need to resize my Windows partition to have space to put Linux on. Here's another distribution that's a pretty popular one. This is Fedora. And this is actually the open source version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. This is where all of the development goes into, all of the testing. Basically, R&D happens in Fedora. And once they've got a stable platform and an idea of what's really going to work and maybe what doesn't work as well, that gets rolled into Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Here's another one, Scientific Linux. And we've got SME Server. Over here on the right-hand side, you can actually see the popular ones. And it looks like Linux Mint is, at the moment, the most popular distribution that's out there. That's followed by Debian and Ubuntu. And then following down, we've got Fedora, PC Linux OS, OpenSUSE, and a number of other ones. If we scroll all the way down, you can see all of the different versions of Linux or different distributions of Linux there actually are. And this stops at 100, and probably there's any number of ones beyond that. As I said, DistroWatch is a pretty good website for keeping track of the different distributions that are out there for Linux. In this particular case, we're going to use Ubuntu, even though at the moment maybe it's not the most popular, but in reality, Mint is based on the same platform as Ubuntu is. They both really get their foundation from Debian, which you can see is the second most popular at the moment. So we're going to get into actually creating an Ubuntu system coming up over the next several lessons, and we'll talk about all of the different ways that you can use it for, and we're going to talk a lot about how you can most effectively make use of Linux.